A welcome everyone to our God's Word Fellowship podcast. I am Vanita Santiago. God is good all the time and all the time our God is good. So why do I say this all the time when I begin my message? God is good all the time and all the time God is good. I say this very often in my life. See this has helped me a lot in my life because when we face uh, hard situations when we face uh, challenges circumstances which are hard if you keep meditating in your heart and in your mind saying that god is good god is good my situation may be ma- bad but i am not mad at god because he is good and his mercy endures forever when things are rough when things are hard on the outside on the inside if you meditate on this truth god is good and his mercy endures forever and god will do miracle for you see it's in your mind what do you think about god sometimes people think god is against them God is bringing problem in their life and God is not caring about their situation and God is a favorite he plays favorites he will do for some people and some people if he doesn't like he will not do i am not God's favorite and people have this all uh, lousy things uh, they think about God see God is good to all and his tender mercies over all his creation even unbelievers god is showing mercy who is giving light for them our god almighty who is giving rain for them our god almighty who is giving sunlight who is giving rain in due season who is giving this air to breathe our god almighty see he is good to all and his tender mercies over all his creation see as a believer you should settle this in your heart and register this in your mind forever without asking second question about it without any doubt without any you know feelings involved in it sometimes our feelings no they 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 come against god's word and you may feel okay whether when you especially when people are going through trouble many people many many millions of people think that god is not with them when they are going through trouble because sometimes it is consistent sometimes it is persistent problem they think that god is not with them their feelings will say god is not with you just because you feel just because you think is it true that god is not with you no the bible says god is with you he is our very present help in time of trouble especially when you are in trouble god is your very present help he is your refuge he is your fortress he is your provider he is your sustainer and he is god almighty at the same time he is good to you he will use his almighty power to do good for you some people use their power to hurt people but our god is good he is powerful and at the same time he is good that's the great advantage we have concerning our god he is good he is powerful and he wants to do good for everyone so all these things about god take time to meditate on it he is good and his mercy endures forever so i would like to encourage you to listen to this message completely subscribe to our youtube channel like our facebook page and follow our uh, social media platforms where we are publishing these messages and these messages will help you build your spiritual life give you a uh, strong knowledge concerning god's word it will help you grow spiritually and get to know more and more about god the more you learn about god the more you receive revelation concerning god the more breakthroughs that you will get in your life because bible says you should get to know the truth the truth devil wants to hide this truth from you devil will picture concerning god that okay he is not interested in you and he is late and he doesn't want to do these are the pictures devil paint in your mind concerning god but what does bible say about god 
God is good and uh, he will do all things on time for you that's the series that we are meditating now god is never late so if you are waiting for some breakthrough in your life maybe you may be waiting for uh, from long years see i was waiting for some things for from last 10 years but i recently got it what if i would have given up on that see i was waiting for our kitchen renovation i wanted to beautify our kitchen uh, it, it required some money so i was waiting on god from last 10 years whenever whenever i looked at the situation it looked like okay when is it going to happen <laughs> no till the time we get breakthrough when we look at the situation uh, when we look at uh, the way how it looks we may not like okay when am i going to do this when am i going to fix this so i was waiting on god i was waiting on god and you uh, know i got my breakthrough and that happened and it same thing with you also see i just gave an example of one thing it, it is same with everything there are some things that you are waiting on you it looks like it's not going to happen the devil will say it's not going to happen it's not going to work and god will not work on your behalf and god is delaying god is withholding blessing all these things are lies of the devil the same lie which he lied to eve in the garden of eden he is the same deceiver the devil has not ceased his lies and god has not ceased being good you should get this revelation about god and also concerning devil you should know your adversary where he is attacking you why he is attacking you the devil always attacks you you know that uh, so that he can steal the word from you so that he can steal the promises from you if he can steal the word which is sown in your heart then he can steal your future then he can steal your answers then he can steal all your desires and next step that he can get into killing and destroying but if you don't allow devil to steal the word from you and hold that word in your heart and treasure up that word in your heart and never allow that word to go out from you and keep the word of god before your eyes and in your mind and meditating on his promises on his faithfulness on a daily basis and never give up on god and always say that god is good devil will become mad <laughs> He, you can infuriate you can make run devil mad you want to make run devil mad say that god is with me and god will deliver me from this problem no matter how big that problem is it is not big for god it may be big for you and it may be very difficult in your ability to handle that problem you might think that i may not even come out of this problem it is so big so gigantic nobody is going to help me don't worry god is on your side and he will help you bible says in psalms god is our refuge and our fortress a very present help in time of trouble in time of trouble people will disappear in our life but in time of trouble god is your very close friend he is your intimate friend sometimes your feelings may say god is not with me your feelings also can deceive you many times but you should not go by your feelings you should not go by your instincts you should always always move and make decisions based on god's word if you can get this revelation to stick with god's promises no matter how situation looks you always hold on to god's promises your breakthrough is right around the corner and it's going to happen immediately so god is never late and he will work always on time so let's uh, trust god and uh, pray and get into our message father we come into your presence in the name of our lord jesus christ father you are a good god father i pray that you give every one of us revelation concerning your goodness and concerning your faithfulness give us this steadfast heart unmovable heart father i pray that you help us to stand on your promises and never give up on your word because you are faithful eventually you will 
give results for us eventually you will give breakthroughs for all of us today lord father we thank you for speaking to all of us today through your word and through your mighty holy spirit in the name of our lord jesus christ i pray amen let's go to our text john 11 verse 5 and 6 Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard therefore that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. See Jesus is hearing news about Lazarus that he was sick. And Jesus remained in the same place where he was two more days. see th- th- that's why the holy spirit has emphasized here sometimes see after hearing the news concerning lazarus that he was sick and jesus is not moving from that place immediately to go and heal lazarus see jesus was healing uh, in a day he was healing many people i mean the bible doesn't number about those things if every miracle which jesus did could have numbered and recorded John says I don't think uh, even the whole world cannot contain the books because Jesus did that many miracles innumerable miracles so he this is what he was doing in 3 and 1/2 years ministry he was not resting and chatting and uh, no, that doesn't that doesn't mean that he didn't sleep at all i'm not saying like that so he didn't sit around and chat around and uh, waste his time no the reason jesus stayed in the same place where he was because he was doing cures there he was ministering to people healing he was teaching the word of god he was training his disciples and he was also speaking the truth concerning the kingdom of god and people were getting healed and devils were being cast out the lepers were getting cleansed this was the anointing which was on jesus and he was doing the work of god in the same place where he remained there see jesus loved martha mary and lazarus bible is very clear about it if uh, martha mary they all expected jesus to come early there remember last time i said lord if you had been here my brother would not have died most of the people these things they were telling to jesus lord jesus you are late that's why my brother died if you you could you cured many people and uh, you made the blind to see you made the lame to walk you also could have you no know, made my brother not died and leave you could have healed him but you have come late we have buried him he is dead and he is stinking now you are late see jesus loved uh, today my emphasis is on this that jesus loved them see if you love somebody you want to give your best for them isn't it see if you love somebody what do you do for those people you give your worst for them you will give the leftovers for them no if you love somebody you will give your best for them So after hearing the news that uh, Lazarus is sick Jesus remained in the same place why sometimes if there is a delay people will think that okay whether god loves me or not because your feelings will rise up your emotions will boil not uh, not receiving the breakthrough yet not seeing any sign of healing not seeing any sign of breakthrough and this devil is very good at in uh, you know, speaking to you out of your situations he will make the situation so dramatic and so lively and he will visualize you know and may bring all these pictures before you which things uh, haven't even haven't even happened yet he will bring about this fear about future okay if this continues what's going to happen imagine your future if this goes like this when devil pumps all these lies into your mind you will begin to think about your future in a worse way in a bad way where you will imagine that you know uh, the debtors are coming and harassing you and persecuting you and saying evil things about you 
and also how what will people say what will people think uh, what, what am i going to do i am going to lose my respect i am going to lose my dignity and people will speak bad about me uh, he will bring all these concerns all this care all this worry at the time on you but if your heart is not strong in the word of god if you are not convinced about that god will do this for me you can fall for this lies immediately you can become an easy prey to devil to walk over you i'm telling you devil is after the word of god which you are holding see if you are holding fast to the truth of god's word that's where your breakthrough is your breakthrough will not come from outside your breakthrough is in the word of god your faith in god's word can move the world can overcome any situation bible says in first john the faith that which you have in you can overcome the world so you have the world over coming faith in you so you are not an ordinary you no know, man or a woman or living in one corner of the world and being helpless no you have that authority and you have that blessing which god has bestowed upon you and all the promises of god are yes and amen and all those things belong to you some people you no know, if they have to pay the electricity bill and they get uh, into this worry and if they have to pay some dues and they get into this worry see all those things are uh, genuine problems i am not denying the um, problems they are there but do you allow that problems to rule over you and to choke the word of god which is in you only the word of god can bring that breakthrough in your life if you allow your circumstances if you allow the lies of the devil that god is late and god will not do this for you and god does not love you see if god does not love you i'm telling you he will not do any good thing for you Th- that's the point that i want to focus here now jesus loved martha mary and lazarus see he remained in the same place two more days doing what god the father was telling him to do in the same place what if jesus was moved by natural emotions he genuinely loved lazarus and he wanted to maybe jesus wanted to raise lazarus and go and heal him immediately this is what love will do and love will move immediately but there is a emotional love and there is a love which also thinks to give best for you there is a love. jesus wanted to give answers for their prayers Jesus wanted to you know what they were desiring what they were expecting Jesus wanted to give that for them but the way it happened did not happen according to how Martha and Mary expected but God did something better God did something above and beyond what they expected isn't it he, he they were thinking that okay if my brother uh, no he, when he is sick if jesus had come here and touched him and healed him he would have lived but now that he is dead buried and decaying and stinking what would jesus do they were thinking but jesus came there and said i am the resurrection and the life if you believe me you will see the glory of god see god manifested his glory in raising lazarus from the dead so god had this great plan in his life and they they were not expecting lazarus to be raised from the dead but god had some better plan even in your business situations even in your financial situations even maybe it may be your health situations god has something better and again always remember that god loves you and if he loves you do you think that he will withhold blessings from you do you think he will withhold uh, uh, paper notes from you <laughs> and sometimes people will give more value for money than for god they they decide whether god loves them or not based on their finances don't base god based on your finances today you may be having financial problem but if you continue in the truth knowing that god loves you 
you will come out better you will not only pay your bills you will not only you no know, need be needs met you will come much higher in your life because god has great plans for you so don't limit to god only for few things think big about god think great about god and god will come on time and do miracles for you god is never late sometimes because uh, we are living in this body and we think that okay before i die i can see this <laughs> okay before the time gets over before it is too late uh, my son should get married all those things are there those things uh, okay those things should happen but believe in god and in his timings this is very important that every believer should get they openly confess i believe god it's true that you believe god but do you also believe in his timings especially when things that you are expecting and those things are not happening See, there is one verse in uh, hebrews chapter 10 where it says verse 35 cast not away therefore your confidence which has great recompense of reward for you have need of patience that after you have done the will of god you might receive the promise yet a little while he that shall come will come will not tarry will not tarry see god will come on time this is what this verse is saying and there is another verse in galatians let's go there verse 9 galatians 6 verse 9 let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not see there is a due season these are the phrases bible uses in due season god will do and he will not tarry and he will not be late and he will do things on time the thing about bible he it does not give us the date and the time but he will say very soon i will do this for you immediately i will do this for you shortly i will do this for you quickly i will do this for you see we know about jesus bible says in revelation where jesus is telling i am coming soon and we are still confessing that right christ is coming soon that's where we end our uh, message every time i finish my message in our god's word fellowship podcast that's what we say and we end our message jesus christ is coming soon so when is that soon don't know you you don't know i don't know neither does jesus know some people think that jesus knows no Jesus is very clear about it no man knows that time except God the father so when is he coming imagine if uh, jesus would have uh, revealed i mean if god would have revealed to jesus and jesus would have revealed to all of us that i'm going to come in uh, such and such date and uh, be ready you know what people would have done they will do all ca- all kind of things that what they will do and then uh, before jesus came they would be holy and they would be doing right things before god and uh, you know make some right choices and fear god and immediately people will change <laughs> same thing can happen even in our uh, families also see sometimes when uh, our relatives if they say that we are visiting your house and they are on the way somewhere they are coming immediately we make our house ready but if they had not come many times we our house will be no the things will be lying on the bed the things will be lying on the floor and we don't care but if you see hear that news that okay somebody guest is coming over to our house immediately we make things ready but if they were not coming it would be still uh, we will do whenever we are convenient whenever we can do <laughs> right but jesus is coming soon but we don't know when he is coming but we all are expecting his coming another thing i want to tell today that day when jesus is going to come it is already decided god is not going to decide when jesus is going to come in future he has already decided when he has to send his son to earth in his second coming that date is already decided but it is not revealed to jesus it is not re- even revealed to all of us so why god does not reveal 
because god wants us to believe in him and trust in him and in his timings and do good all the time sometimes the people get weary of doing good i am doing so much i am being holy so much i am too much holy <laughs> I'm a super spiritual Christian and I'm reading Bible every day and so people get bored of doing these things especially when uh, when they are so dedicated to do all these things and they are still not seeing the results like how unbelievers are experiencing sometimes they compare themselves with to unbelievers and they fret you see serving God will always pay you but one thing that uh, god's children are lacking today is patience they have this faith and they are lacking this patience okay lord if you love me give me immediately if jesus would have gone immediately to heal lazarus i don't think uh, jesus could have healed that statement uh, may surprise uh, many people but you know why jesus could not have done because jesus always work with the father that's why whenever jesus prays god will always hear his prayer and answer but you know god the father always speaking to jesus and jesus was listening to that and obeying and implementing jesus never uh, you no know, disobeyed god at any time that's why all his prayers were answered okay the jesus loved lazarus but he still he was not moved by emotions he was not moved by instincts he was not moved by his feelings and to come and heal him immediately do you think that jesus did not pray to god the father concerning lazarus of course he would have prayed only then he remained in the same place two more days and then god said go and raise lazarus from the dead and when jesus was sent by god almighty like that when jesus uh, implemented what god said that's when he could raise lazarus from the dead so even in your situations never think that god is late no he is not late maybe sometimes you are in hurry <laughs> there are some things uh, see there may be many reasons why your answers are delayed sometimes uh, believers are not in faith they are not exercising faith that could be one reason and some believers are they are exercising faith and still not receiving the answers why they are not receiving the answers maybe you are not ready for that and god is preparing you and god is shaping you and molding you for you to come to that situation to come to that place where you are ready to receive from god see sometimes we are not ready sometimes we think okay if i want this now if god loves me he will give me immediately now let me give you one quick example and uh, close for today see i love my sons both of them david and jonathan see the elder one is little strong and uh, he he can handle our bike our bike is very big <laughs> so he has learned so early in his life to ride the bike just because uh, he learned early and do i have to give permission that he, he rides really well he is not uh, fast and he is not harsh and he does it slowly and uh, he, he does it uh, wisely and he also learned so quickly in his early age he is just 15 years and he can ride a big bike okay my son he is riding bike at his young age let me let him go and uh, ride in the main road without license will any parent allow that see i i have kept boundaries to my son okay you are not going to main road you have to go within the inside circles you are not going outside you are not going to main road we keep boundaries for them why again my younger son jonathan i won't allow him to touch bike you know why he is eight standard he knows how to ride the bike but still i i won't allow him to take the bike out why is it because i don't love him not like that because they are not ready my younger son is not ready to take the bike out even though he knows how to ride the bike because he is not ready technically he knows how to ride the bike but physically he is not that good in riding the bike out at this point of time and again my elder son he is uh, technically and uh, physically he is capable but still not the age 
to go and ride the bike in the main road we keep boundaries for them it's not that we are withholding bike from them on purpose putting boundaries the reason we don't give full freedom for them because they are not ready they are not yet there so as parents we think good about our children we want to give our best we want to protect them we want to keep them safe we want them to be clothed we want them you no know, to give good education for them and give bright future for them we think best concerning our children bible says in matthew 7 if you are being evil evil in the natural trans you know in the original translation it says natural if you are being evil or natural know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your father who is in heaven give good things to them that ask him so if you can provide for your children if you can keep boundaries for your children you know knowing that how much you love them if you keep boundaries that means you are loving your children you are not you know putting them in prison because that's good for them but once they learn some more things and once they get more skilled they will if they can expose to little more things little by little little by little we will expose them to do things according to their ability and where they are not according to our love we love them unconditionally at all times but we won't allow to do everything they want to do just because we love them same with god there are some things that you are waiting maybe you are not ready to handle it so trust in god that he will bring things in your hands when you are ready so don't be weary in doing good in due season you will reap if you faint not what if you faint you cannot reap so be patient and uh, always say that god is good and his mercy endures forever and god is never late Thank you so much for listening to this message. God bless you. Jesus Christ is coming soon.